you can here with Troy and Monty on the Fox. Mel Gibson this weekend sold his house and fled the United States. I think we all know why. Edge of Darkness came out on DVD and it's not selling too well. <laughs> <laughs> of course, a number of tapes secretly recorded of Mel verbally abusing his girlfriend, Oksana, have been released. We've all heard them. Let's have a quick listen just for another taste. And if you get by a pack of it'll be your fault. You are provocatively dressed all the time with your fake boobs. You feel you have to show off in tight outfits and tight pants so that you see your from behind. And that green thing today was enough. That's provocative. Okay, so nothing right, too out of the ordinary there. Calm just, down, a, Mel. just a man losing his mind. Now, as disturbing as the tapes are, the question remains, has his privacy been invaded? Because Oksana allegedly hid microphones in her earrings to record some of these things. Now, I'm sure a lot of us have had conversations before that we are glad we're not recorded and put on YouTube. Uh-huh. Or talked about on a radio show. <laughs> so should we be scared that this is a trend that's going to catch on, people recording everything? The answer is yes, Monty, we should be scared because already this week, other tenants of my apartment building that I live in who often complain about how much noise I make in my apartment secretly bugged my flat and then showed the tapes to the landlord <laughs> in an attempt to get me kicked out. Now, I've got hold of these tapes and I do plan to destroy them. But I thought I'd only write to play you a couple of them just to show you what it's like to have your privacy invaded. Here's the uh, the first one. I don't care. Look at you. What do you think is going to happen? You come back here with me all soft and innocent. You deserve what's about to happen. You've got nuts, for God's sake. That's provocative. You're lucky you didn't get destroyed on the way here. You hear me? Okay, so that was when I just got back from 7-Eleven. I bought a Cornetto. <laughs> 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 Calling a cornetto <laughs> provocative. Well, I knew what it was doing. Yeah. Okay, here's another one that was played to the landlord. So what? Can... You expect me to be fine with this? I'm sitting here waiting, trying not to lose my mind, punching the wall, and you don't even care. Next time, I'm going to come looking for you. And also that little cute hat. That's provocative. <laughs> that was when the pizza guy was late. <laughs> You can all understand that. Everyone, like, yeah, yeah. no, that's fine. You yeah, can yeah. go angry at the pizza guy. <laughs> and you, in particular, yes. Okay, here's the last one. Let's have a listen. What? You think you can just stop there and I'll be fine with it? Well, I'll sort myself out. You with your little dirty undies and your tight little T-shirts. You don't just stop halfway with me, baby. You keep going until you've done what you're here to do. You only stop if I make you stop. Now open up. I've got something for you. <laughs> Look how easy you open up. That's provocative. Yeah, the washing machine just kept stopping on before the spin cycle. <laughs> I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> so, Mel Gibson, I feel your pain, my friend, but at the same time, you're an idiot, let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> you're the Andy on the Fox. 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 Tell my family now what do you think? Watch it all.